Well, I had recorded and talked to the camera this whole time. However, the camera was in the little water protective case so I could put it on the stand. And I didn't get any usable audio for me talking to a camera. But, started off the journey, we are going to the world's largest yard sale, as far as they quote, in St. Louis, Missouri at Six Flags parking lot um, I'm also going up here you can see in the back seat to sell a Audi S4 bumper and side skirts I had left over from getting rid of that car and getting the pickup truck I have now um, that you saw in the second video so getting rid of a couple things buying a lot of things this is what this weekend has in store St. Louis and I'll have a little bit of B-roll to get there and before you know it you'll be there with me and it's going to take me about 40 minutes to get there from where I'm at but look forward to it guys and uh, hope you've been paying attention and having fun so far. Thanks guys. furniture. There's things. There's lots of junk. Ah! Ah! This is the coolest thing. What a random coincidence. There is legitimately a whole kitchen out here. People are already shopping. I need to go. I need to go. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so big. That's not what she said. Girl Scout cookies, just in case you ever need any. I don't know, man. I never seen anything before. Oh, square body Chevy. Not that one. Damn one. Look at that new boy.
Hey guys, uh, so this is Catcher from the Future, uh, currently editing this video that I'm putting out this week. Uh, something really cool happened. My card is corrupted. Lost all my footage. About seven hours worth of footage I had for you guys of me getting to the event and me going through the first few booths and talking to people and going back and talking to them. I think I have one clip with the GoPro in the middle of uh, the day and I bought one thing. So here's that. <laughs> Where are you out in the stopwatch? I don't know, a couple bucks? A couple bucks? Yep. Now I can get ready for the Olympics. <laughs> Here you go, man. I appreciate you, man. Good luck with yourself. Yep. It was a good buy at least, $2. Uh, I have it listed for $29, so if you want to stop watch, I got you. But um, other than that, uh, I have a few clips I've recorded on my phone, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a great weekend. Um, really, really exciting. I got a lot of things done. I got some other things uh, handled, and you'll see in the next video what's going on. But uh, really, really good weekend. Just uh, super unfortunate that I lost all the absolute footage of the, the, the day. Show moves on. Still wanted to put out something for you. Showed that I did still go to uh, St. Louis uh, area. But uh, again, sorry that I lost all the great footage. I guess sit back and enjoy the rest of the show. This place is literally insane. Stumbled across the world's largest yard sale. And I accidentally have already got a, a bag. Not full, but probably already spent 50 bucks and it's only been 20 minutes I should have some good profit in there I'm losing at that price and I am done two tickle me almost from 2000 still in box a uh, couple of cells were around 45 each uh, just some miscellaneous some usa made stuff that box i got a builder bear for a dollar that's my sweater still in old st louis i'm here at a different goodwill well a uh, goodwill i uh, went to plato's to try to sell some things they didn't want anything but i did buy a pair of shorts and a tommy hilfinger shirt for myself um but uh checking out this goodwill We'll see if I can find anything. I'll try to keep you updated as I go. Found exactly nothing. Uh, they had good prices, but they just didn't have anything for good resale. I mean, if you wanted clothing or something like that, they, they have it, but um, just wasn't a whole lot good stuff there. Um, their VHS tapes were 20 cents each, but I didn't find anything. Oh my God, an IS-300. Oh, baby, I miss mine. This is a car I actually miss. Automatic, but, oh. Oh. That's a good car. Oh, I miss my IS-300. If you ever want a good car, I mean, the price has gone skyrocketed in all cars, but if you ever want a good little car for not crazy, crazy amount, and that will be reliable, an IS-300. You can find it in a manual. Now, now you're not talking about super cheap anymore. But if you can find it in a manual, it's an extremely fun car. Um, automatics aren't bad, but that's my two cents on the IS300. The 300, not the 350 or the, the GS or anything like that. The IS300. Super sick car. Uh, looks great. Phenomenal. Yada yada. I'm going to see if there's a Goodwill or something around here that I can hit up. But uh, I'm drawing thin.
Hello. I'm about worn out for the day. It's 3 o'clock. I've been going since 5.30 this morning. So, I'm, it's been a work day. I know I'm off work, but I'm on my other work. And uh, so, I have a couple of people that I'm doing uh, a couple of house pickup fours for a couple of TI-83s so, or TI-84s uh, and a TI-84C. So I'm go pick those up there in Illinois. I'm in St. Louis right now, so I'm, I've already hit up another Goodwill. I found a Pooh Bear and a set of glasses for us, actually. They were just clear, regular glasses, but they were 50 cents each, so uh, they are a matching set, so I might as well get those and throw away some of ours. But nothing I just really wanted. Uh, they had a big BB-8 back there you know, on a cart ready to come out. And I asked the lady, I was like, hey, is there a cart about to come out anytime soon? And uh, she said, no, those aren't ready. They're not coming out anytime today. I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, he had like anywhere from like a 30 to $70 resale according if he had everything. So, I mean, it's not like a huge, huge loss. They probably had 15, 20 bucks on them. Goodwill's weird about bigger objects, but anywho, uh, I'm about to head back to Illinois. I'm about to call it a day. Um, I might stop. Uh, you don't need to know all that. Um, I still have just under three quarters of a tank, so I don't need to fill up or anything. Um, I messaged this guy. He was supposed to... We were, we agreed on buying more from him. Or me buying more from him. But then, he had to answer my messages back. I said, he said he'd do 10 each. I said, great. I said, if I bought 10, would you do 80? Which I feel like is pretty good. You're getting 10 off your hand. Someone's paying you 80. That's like buying 8 and getting 2 free. And, or buying 12 and getting 2 free. And, or buying 12 for 100 because I already bought these from him. But you know, he just stopped replying back. So I'm not going to blow up his phone. If he doesn't want to sell them, it's fine. I'll, I'll stick with those two. Those are still pretty cool. Um... I'm super excited to sit down and rest and look through these. I got so many cabbage or um, garbage pail kids. So many of them. And I'm so excited to go through them. I've always wanted some, but people always ask so much. And I got 80 of them. 80 of these bad boys for $20. So I was is that a quarter each? So, like, that's pretty sick. And I, They're all in my seat over here right now. I'm using the USP hat or yeah, USPS hats to cover them up, but uh, pretty pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I got another. Hopefully, they're not too far out in Illinois. If they are, I'll just call them and be like, "Hey, you're you're an hour away. I I can't do it or something like that." But this is my lunch. I haven't had real bread in over a year, or almost a year. April will be a year. I had a, a hot dog at the the flea market because I needed food, and I, was, I can't. You can't leave because you had to be charged ten more dollars plus parking spot and all the time you'd waste to do all that. So I just bought a hot dog, and then this bread. So I had a lot of bread today compared to my normal. Hopefully it won't come back. That's 70 pounds he's to stay away from me. But anywho. That's neither here or there. Morning guys. I was just looking over the GoPro footage and I am sorry at the angle. One, I thought it was pointed up more. I gotta know it's pointed up a little bit more. Hashtag short. But two, um, the second GoPro only got literally one minute and then I wore it for another like 40 minutes and it was dead. So I didn't get much footage with it. I was gonna go to the bins this morning, but I go to the bins a lot and I don't get to spend a lot of time with her folks. So uh, I'm gonna spend time with them this morning before I leave. So 
uh, he already had the day off, or asked for the day off, so we're going to go do something. I don't know what it is, but it's 6 a.m. I'm up drinking coffee and just stepped outside to enjoy this nice nature, and then we'll see what we're doing. And I'm already wearing my my outfit that I found at Play-Doh, so $16 outfit plus whatever I paid for those shoes back in the day. So, a and a USA made hat. Hey, Golden Harvest, look it up. Not the flex that you like, you know. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite purchases. The guy was literally wearing it up to the event and it, and had it on his chair, wasn't thinking about selling it. But it's UPS uh, hoodie that's made in the USA. That was probably my favorite purchase from yesterday. Um, and of course, I got the Wheaties. Uh, I got lead. Just a bunch of stuff. And I spent a good amount of money on a lot of it. But should have a good resale value and then of course all of the thousands of well 80 uh cards that i got so good weekend great weekend um and then i'm gonna spend some time with the i guess the fam and then head back uh, to good old sherwood here after after a while so you guys take care and if this is the end of the video i appreciate you watching like and subscribe and uh yeah let me know uh let me know what you you think and i'll talk to you guys soon